Oh, we're going, okay. Uh, Episode two of Transit Reviews. Yeah. Oh, there she goes. There it is. <laughs> and there it is. So, the reason I waited to put out my thoughts about Endgame, aside from doing a podcast twice, God damn it. Uh, <laughs> because uh, I, 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 need, I need Nick, the guy that runs the podcast, to send me the audio from the other one so I can post it. Because it's radically different from the one that we wound up putting up. <laughs> But, um, so we, we've let it digest a little bit. This is my second viewing of Endgame. This was your... This was my first. Yeah. So I had you... not seen it. Um, what Marvel movies did you skip going into this? A lot of them. Yeah. I've maybe seen half of all the Marvel movies. Because you skipped Captain Marvel. I uh, skipped Captain Marvel. I haven't seen any of the Ant-Man movies. I didn't watch, I, I didn't watch Ant-Man 2 in theaters. I saw the first one in theaters. I didn't see Doctor Strange. Uh, I actually haven't even seen Civil War or Age of Ultron. You haven't seen Civil War? No, I've not. It's solid. I've heard it's fun. I just am terrible at getting around to watching things. I mean, it's not um, an obligation to be in No, it's not, but it's also just like... Um, I didn't see Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Uh... <laughs> It's not a bad movie, but it is my bottom like five. I mean, I saw... It's actually quite Really? Bad. I thought Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was one of the good ones. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. I personally don't... Uh, not okay, that fond okay. Of it. That's, that's fair. Yeah, it's... Um, it, personally, for me, I'm not that fond of it, but it, as far as a film goes, it's pretty solid. But I have my own reasons for that. I don't know. What the fuck else was there? Uh, did you see Spider-Man Homecoming? I actually did not. I've not seen that yet. Okay. Because, like, there's... There, uh, if you think this movie that contextually you would have to see like a couple of the other films to know, so like yeah. like the Wasp, a uh, bunch of stuff. With the I mean, the ground. Wasp is Ant Man, but she can fly. Well, she punches and shoots lasers, but yeah, basically. Okay, so um, the Ant Man, so like, she can fly. It, it, it sets up like Scott is gone for like five years. Five yeah, hour, well, they years. kind of explain. But, the movie. but um, so Captain, the only thing Captain Marvel you would need to know is that her post credit scene, uh. Explains that. So you and we, you saw the end of Infinity War. Yeah, so where you see Nick where Fury activates the beacon. It's like okay, well that's. And then you, I think you told me that was for Captain Marvel. Yeah. Like, okay, that makes sense. And so at the end of Captain Marvel, in her post credit scene, she shows up to Earth because the team is looking at the beacon. Right. Um. There may be a minor inconsistent. I can't recall. Though, I don't think there is. I don't. Know. Um. But of when Carol shows up. But yeah, it sets up that Carol shows up, so she's wearing a different suit from the her movie to the beginning of Endgame, and then the end of Endgame, which becomes the most powerful lesbian in the universe, pretty much. Um, with her power stance like this at a funeral. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, well, I don't know, what did you think about it? I thought it was great. Come from it was, the, a, it was like, like half the movies. It was a great fucking time. I mean, like, and yeah, exactly, coming from someone who hasn't seen all the movies, it's still a great time. And I... The most impressive thing to me is that we saw it in 3D as well, which I yeah. was like not super excited about, but it ended up actually working out pretty well, and I thought they utilized the 3D very yeah. well, and not in a gimmicky way. Weirdly, having seen it in 2D there was and a lot of 3D, it did enhance it There was a lot of like landscape establishing shots that, because of the 3D, it almost looked like I was looking at a little miniature, which I thought was adorable. The but, cinematography um, very good. It's solid. Definitely um, solid. There's some moments I that are straight up amazing. They still... That are, they're wallpaper moments. They're oh, yeah. Good. They still... Thanos still feels like a real character. Yeah. That is there. I forget that Josh Brolin is acting yeah. as him. Yeah. So uh, when he cops come in the credit, I'm like, what the fuck is Josh? Oh, that's right. Thanos yeah. isn't like a person. And then, um, you've also got... I mean, the Hulk felt very good in this movie. Oh, yeah. Professor Hulk. Yes. That's just what Professor it is. Hulk. Um, Rise. Smash. Yeah, that was good. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, I told you, this was like the first time in a long time that I've gotten superhero chills from a superhero movie. But, because it, there's just, there are several moments that are just like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like, just yeah, like yeah. Very, like, childlike joy from just like, just like, fucking badass shit. Yeah, I'm... I'm surprised because this is my second view, 
And the second time watching this movie almost made me cry. Yeah. I was welling up around there were a couple, there was a, the funeral. There was that a was really good doing. emotional moment. Are we doing spoilers? Yeah, full on. Okay, full on spoilers. It's going to be in the title because I, I, I'm All right. tired of just holding it back. It's yeah. been a week. It's been a week. If you haven't seen it, fuck you. Spoilers will be in the title. I don't give a shit. No. Um, no, it was just fun, man. And, like, sure, I mean, I I don't know enough about Marvel or comics or anything to really nitpick this movie. There's, like, a couple moments where I'm just, like... Like, there was a pandering moment where I was just like, ah, okay, I see what you're doing. But it was also oh, the, just... Uh, the yeah. aptly named A-Force moment. So A-Force is a team that comics is, like... All female Avengers. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Um, it was. Yeah. It. I saw that and I was just like, "All right, Disney, I see what you're doing." But it was cool. No, it was. It was neat. There was. It was like. I mean, it was like very obvious what it, it was. was. They did not. Try but to I. I, it I liked all. it. I'm like, what? Yeah. No, I mean, I was okay with it because they were just were just like, here's a pandering moment. Yeah. Because we can. <laughs> And then, of course, it was completely, like, shut down because Carol just blasts ahead of everyone yeah. and doesn't need their help at all. <laughs> it was, that was amazing to me. I did like the scene. Uh, Carol, Carol is interesting because you haven't seen Captain Marvel, which part of I'm me not. wants you to see it just because I want to know what your thoughts are on it. Uh, uh, my thoughts are I don't care. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like I'm sorry. I'm so, if you like Captain Marvel, that's awesome. I'm so happy for you. I am not interested. I just like I saw the trailer and I'm just like, eh. Eh. which I mean, you didn't lose anything from not seeing it. Exactly. Uh, outside of like one scene of minor context. Exactly. Is how Carol meets the Avengers, and that's about it. So that's probably how she found Tony in space. Bam. That's about it. Um, but uh, a lot of people like her new haircut. I'm kind of indifferent. The headbutt scene, though, is, is probably that my favorite is scene great. of Carol. That was awesome. Got some from Fucking, Peter Parker? I'm like, shit, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. And then Thanos is like, shit, bam. bam. And, then, and she just, like, doesn't move Doesn't move. Like, and he's like, oh, I see I have to revise my strategy. <laughs> <laughs> it appears I may have made a fuck up. Uh, it appears you are not an average human. <laughs> shit, um, bitch, that's all you had to say. And, like, I also thought it was kind of funny, but also just generally fun. The humor works better big, in Endgame for me than it does in Infinity War. Yeah, but well, that's because Endgame has a very different tone. Yeah, to, tonally it is way different. It is, um, it's more an Avengers movie. Yes. Uh, Infinity War is more of a Thanos movie. Yes. But well, they're both heists, which is very interesting. Yeah. Because this is about stealing the stones. Time there's heist. A, there's a time heist. Um, God damn. Okay. Get your roll on, bitch. Sorry, someone <laughs> just passed me. Uh, um, passed me. Bitch was on it. Oh yeah, so like that that's actually a big complaint a lot of people have about superhero movies is like, so Avengers, a lot of them, a lot of these superhero movies start out with such a fucking grand scale that it's just like, oh shit, where do we go from here? And and in this movie, Marvel's like, well, this is where we go. This is the end. <laughs> We're good. Like, how big do we get? Uh, how about literally everyone? <laughs> Who literally yeah. everyone that it, you may have ever seen in one of these movies. I caught people I didn't catch the first time I saw it. Howard the Duck. Yeah, I didn't Korg, even Meek. fucking see Howard the he Duck. He has a blink and you miss it. But the only reason I know is because Nick sent me an image where Howard is standing. And, like, you would not see him unless you somehow cold. It was weird. Him. Sonic the Hedgehog was there. I mean, probably. <laughs> Shrek was there. Oprah was there. Shrek was there. Kung Fu Action Jesus? Kung Fury was there. Kung Fury was there? It did kind of look like the Kung Fury fight a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But less Nazis. Less Slightly Nazis. Na- less Nazis. Slightly. Fewer Nazis. And I know Just as many monsters, though. Just as many monsters. Uh, it, yeah. It didn't, my, my main problem with Endgame is it didn't have Hacker Man. <laughs> and well... Actually, uh, the biggest problem with Infinity, if with the Infinity War movies, is that they didn't include Hawkman as one of the people Hawkman. that beat Thanos, uh, because Hawkman isn't a stupid superhero, and people totally care about him. Uh, I love the fact that Hawkeye in his solo series just became the name Hawk Guy. Hawk he's, Guy. He is just the dude. He's just the dude. He is the dude. Well, no, straight up, they call Thor the dude. Because he called... Uh, he, he does become the dude. Because Tony's like, uh, on your left, Big Lebowski. I'm like... Yeah. Right before, I'm like, he looks like Literally dude. two seconds before that, you were just like, oh my god, it's the, the dude. dude. And He's then like, Tony Stark is like, on your left, Big Lebowski. Lebowski. I'm like, god damn it, I missed the jump. You fucking did it. <laughs> you 
took you took the, you saw the moment you took. How'd this, you do that? This mo this How'd movie do that? This movie has body positivity because of fat Thor, a thick Thor. Um, actually, it's uh the because they make a joke out of it, it's not body positivity. And and, and I was telling you this earlier that Thor is like going through the fucking ringer of depression. I don't yeah. think people understand how much shit Thor has been through in the past like decade. <laughs> Like, he was coasting for a good... Thor has been fucked. (laughs) For a good millennia, he was good. But then, like, 2011 hit, and it it came to Earth, and shit got bad. everything went to shit. Yeah. As soon as he went to Earth. People started fucking dying! It's true. Everyone that mattered to him essentially died. So all he has now are his new friends. It's true. Um, like, I'm trying trying to think of, like, little... I mean, Rocket Raccoon is always... I love Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> I, I don't honestly, care if he's I, stupid. I love him. It's one like you. I mean... He's, yeah. an, he's an asshole who shoots stuff. It's true. Outside of the shooting stuff, yeah. Yeah. A fuzzy smartass. It's true. <laughs> I like Thor. Come here. Come here. No, seriously. No, seriously. Oh, <laughs> Just fucking smacks him. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that, that's whenever I would come to you with, like, pissed ass shit about women. Hey. Hey, idiot. Actually, yeah, we've had that conversation, I'm certain. Stop it. We're not doing that. Stop being stupid. We have things to do. It's like, okay. Yeah. But I'm going to go do the thing anyways because I'm stupid and reckless. All right, fine. I'm going to do this other thing and then I'll come get you. Oh, bitch. Um, oh, bitch. Um, yeah, no. Rocket's cool. Like, the time travel is... I don't know why people keep making a big stink about it. It's pretty simple to follow. Dude, I, I don't... It's I don't simple. see why it, people it's care. It's not that hard. It's not even that it's complicated or simple. It's just that, like, as soon as you introduce time travel into a story, all bets are off. Yeah. There is no point thinking about it. Well, because also, if you really want to deconstruct how the time travel in some movie works, you could fucking talk for hours about it, and it will not make a goddamn lick of difference because what happens is the story plays out as it does in the yeah. movie. And, then, and if you don't like how the story plays out, then sure, you can go ahead and bitch about time travel affecting that. But, like, it's I not was poorly with done it. time travel. It's, it's actually, I think, the first time I've seen time travel that branches backwards. Yeah, I mean, I I just don't care. It's, it's, it's literally just a plot device. Mm-hmm. And, if, and if you're going to get upset about a plot device in a superhero movie, you shouldn't be watching a superhero movie. Like, I don't... I really do not... I cannot stress enough. I don't fucking care. Uh, like, I, the, the time travel in Looper doesn't make a lot of sense, but Looper's a great movie. Because true. The, it's more about the drama, the character drama than it is about the fucking time travel. And, and like, that's the same with, in, with Endgame. It's more about, you know, the heist and getting the stones and everything rather than the time travel itself. If it's a movie that is, like, time travel is the core mechanic and everything, then okay, yeah. I can see you getting upset about it. I just, like, I just don't think it's a big deal. I mean, they're, they're, I really don't, I don't get why people are, like, upset about that. Their, their universe is fucked anyways, because the stones keep balanced, and in 2018, Thanos destroyed the stone, so. I Shit's just, fucked anyway. It, it, it doesn't matter. But I, I will say this, in terms of, uh, this movie does a lot of very unique things. Like, in terms of story progression, it starts at a, uh, it starts at a peak and goes down. Kind of. Yeah, because it starts with uh, them killing Thanos and then the aftermath. Yeah, but I don't think... But then I it goes back that, up I wouldn't call and then it goes down though. again. I wouldn't call that a peak, though, because, like, the whole point was killing Thanos was so anticlimactic. Because they show up, he's, like, this fucking... Basically, well, okay. he's, like, practically no, a, a cripple. I, I, a he's peak living and going on a farm. It's a, it's a cliffhanger. It starts off a cliffhanger and then goes down. I wouldn't, then call, rises I wouldn't call it. I wouldn't call it a cliffhanger either. It's just the, the entire point is that it continues the theme. A big theme of Infinity War is failure and disappointment, and it, it that theme takes over because it's just like you know you go into Endgame and your immediate expectation is like okay they're gonna kill Thanos, and then they show up and they fucking kill Thanos like immediately, and then it's just like oh oh that didn't fix anything. Oh. And so, then they have to. Then you move on from there. Um, I think uh, maybe it was just such an emotionally low point that it starts out. Yeah, that's but, the that's the thing. Because which makes sense because Infinity War ended on a pretty low point. Yeah, because totally Infinity War and Endgame are very different. They're very different yeah. superhero movies because like 
Infinity War, it looks like they have a chance, and they don't. Yeah. This is kind of the reverse, where yeah. it looks like they don't have a chance, but they win. Yes. Like, they pull themselves up from, from straight up nothing. Yes. Um, In Infinity War, it looks like they have a chance, and then Quill fucks everything up. Yeah. Thanks, Quill. Peter, the man who ruined everything, Quill, as I yes. refer to him. Peter, the pettiest motherfucker alive, Quill. <laughs> he killed my girlfriend! And then he gets his girlfriend back, and she's just like, oh my god, this is the guy I get This with? is the man I fell in love with? Oh. It was either him or a tree. And Nebula's just like, yep. Yeah. I didn't agree with it either. It's either him or the teenage tree. It's like, fucking dude, really? God. Yep. <laughs> Your taste in men sucks, sister. Yeah, well, at least I'm not a machine, bitch. <laughs> at least I'm not a fucking cyborg! <laughs> um, well, I don't know. I mean, what do you think about the acting? I think it was great. That yeah, opening I thought it was good. The opening with Robert Downey Jr. I think is phenomenal. I thought, I mean, Robert Downey Jr. is the best actor, for sure. Yeah. But he, he, I... That everyone, opening, everyone he was killing it, where he was malnourished else? and yelling at Cap. Yeah. I mean, I thought everyone was at the very least serviceable. There was never a moment. Yeah. I mean, okay, there was. Uh, the, the, Tony, the Stark's, baby? Tony Stark's the daughter boy. is a little... That was the most adorable child. Eh. To me. <laughs> I mean, she was... It was literally just like... I mean, it's a child. She's like three. She, yeah, I mean... Or, she, no, she's five. She's five. And it's just like, oh, okay, well, child actors. Yeah. Small children cannot act. It's it's hit or miss. You, The best you're going to get is Shazam. It was acceptable. Yeah, like, the, the best um, child actor I think we've probably seen, outside of, not No Country for Old Men, but that movie that we saw in, like, 12th grade, with that, uh, Jeff Bridges in the West. Oh, fucking, um, um True Grit. True Grit. True Grit. That's arguably, like, the best. She wasn't really, she was, like, a young teenager, though. She was, like, 12. She was real uh, young. Okay. Well, whatever. She That's was good. The, but, like, that and Shazam are probably the best child actors I've ever seen. Yeah. She, the little girl in this was like at, at, at least serviceable. Yeah. Like she got what she did. She was cute. She yeah. She said her lines cute. No, I mean it was. And fine. she made me feel bad during the movie. again. She was, matter. She was serviceable. Man. Yeah. It was just like I had no issue. But I mean, at the end, it was just she was just like she did not look like she was heartbroken over her dad. But that's because it's kind of hard for a yeah. kid to do that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I also, the only I also probably wouldn't be expecting like a five year old to be. Going insane. Like, she looks no. sad, but... No, I get that. But also, like... That's a hard thing to direct. But also, like, child actors. That's also true. You should just avoid having children in your film. Yeah. I mean... Because they're not going to be very good. Yeah. Um, yeah she made sense. She got... She I mean, it makes sense. sense. It makes sense. Because they set her up in Infinity War. Did they? Yeah. Uh, at the opening of Infinity War, Tony said, I had a dream yeah. after we got married that you got pregnant and we named our child after her. It was a girl named Morgan. Wow. Oh. Well, that was, I mean, that's, sure. Whatever. So, so, she got, um, no, I don't know. I mean, that was really my only problem with acting. But, other than that, we'll get everyone else. Because it wasn't really that much. She was in there, like, two minutes. Yeah. She, she said shit, ate a fruit pop, and left. She said shit. That's, that's why I don't dislike her. She <laughs> said the shit word. She said the shit word. It was very good. And she, and, she, gave, and she set up a cute little moment at the end. I love you 3000. Yeah, that was really she good. Gave, she that gave us that. That was adorable. Um, but, I mean, this was like Robert Downey Jr.'s sort of coup de grace. Yeah. Like, that he, was, he went he all in. He fucking knocked it out of the park. He went all in um, on this shit. And I think that's... Well, everyone did, too, because Scarlett Johansson was acting her I mean, she did very well. attractive ass off. She, she did very well. Yeah. I don't know that I would I haven't call got, it, like, the best performance ever, because... It's, it's good for her, Black I would Widow's, say. I mean, Black Widow's entire character is that she's just stone-faced. And the thing is, they gave like, that to Carol now, so she was allowed to emote for once. I read that somewhere, like, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Because seeing her emote was nice for once. Yeah. It was nice true. to see her, like, tear up and feel emotional over the fact that her, her best friend and her, like, she had to die. Yeah. Because he had a family. I mean, yeah. In my theory, that was a that was a crazy scene. Yeah, it was. Got the soul stone. Fighting for suicide, just like that was me, wild. Bitch. Yeah, that was fucking crazy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's just it's just a good time. Yeah. That like if you've watched the Mar if you care at all about the Marvel movies, and you like fun superhero movies with epic scales, then you'll like Endgame. Yeah. And if you've seen it. Probably see that first. 
Probably the rest first. For well, full contact? No, you don't need to see all of them. You don't need uh, to. I'm sure you can make a list of the ones that you need to see. Yeah. Or like I what would scenes say you need Iron, to see. Iron Man 1, Iron Man 3. You can yeah. skip two. Yeah. Thor Ragnarok. You do not need to see Thor 1 or 2. You really don't. Well, you uh, need to see Thor 2 for context no, about you the don't. time travel. No, you don't. You don't need to. Some of it. Like the throne scene. That's about it. Read a summary of it. <laughs> Thor, 2 is not, Thor 2 is a bad movie. It is. It is not. It is good. a bad movie. It's a very bad, not good movie. Uh, I mean, it's not like really bad. It's just like oh, it's bad God. for Marvel standards. It's yeah, it's bad for like big budget. Actually, movie standards. weirdly enough, you could probably skip Black Panther. No, oh, you could definitely I, skip Black Panther. Much as I love the movie, yeah, you can skip it's it. a. I mean, Black I, Panther. Severely overhyped, but still a fun movie. And I, I, it's in like my top eight, but that's me personally. That's also eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, it used to be in the five, but you could probably see Black Panther shuffling things around. I, you don't need to see Ant Man. They explain his role. Yeah, <laughs> you get the idea of Ant Man. You can, you all you gotta do is watch the end scene of Ant Man and the Wasp. Really, you don't though, because it's he, two seconds. He explains. It's it. like thirty seconds, so it just okay. explains where he was. I just... Well, it's so you can see it. You really... Whoop. when you hit the gas. You yeah. can... I mean, really, you just have to watch, like, Avengers. Mm -hmm. Iron Man 1 and 3. Maybe Civil War? Maybe Civil War. Actually, I, mean, I haven't seen Civil War, and I didn't miss anything. You do need to see Cap 2 for that context about Hydra. Captain 2, yes. Captain America 2. Which also, Captain America 2 is just a great fucking film. That's hell. the best. I think... Second best Marvel movie in the MCU because my number one's Iron Man. It's, it still holds up. It, it still holds like, up. Phenomenal. Even if well. like the villain is basic and all that stuff, it it, it, it sets the formula and does it so but, well. But even still, like the only reason it's formulaic is because it was one of the first to kind of do that formula of evil version of main character because it was 2008. It was not the first movie to do that, but it wasn't. But it was. It became a lot more common after. That. Well, yeah. I mean, so, it, it's so set, that's Iron Man one set the standard. Yeah. Um. So that's why the standards kind and of faded. It's just everyone so did much the same fun. thing. It's a great movie. It is. So Iron Man one, three, Captain, Captain America two. That's a cap, cap one, maybe. Cap one, if you really want to get into that. Well, because it introduces Red Skull and Peggy, so when you see That's him on point, when yeah. you see him on Bormir, it well, makes it's, sense. But also, like, you don't really, I guess. I mean, uh, you don't whatever. need to, but it's also a good film. No, film. it's true. You should see Cap one because of the whole Peggy thing. Because um, everybody loves Peggy. She's sure one of the what? <laughs> oh, she's great. Um, I love Peggy. Oh, she's great. She's wonderful. Um, uh, yeah. Fuck. You need to see Doctor Strange? Not no, really. No, you fucking don't. You can skip it. Not really. I skipped it. I, I mean, it's Iron bad. Man with magic. That's the whole except, movie. Except he's less likable. Yeah. They're both dicks, but... Yeah, but Tony Stark has, like, a sense of humor. Well, yeah, because he went into engineering instead of medicine. Whereas... Where everybody knows that medicine kids are dicks. Uh, well, <laughs> according to... Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, STEM people are assholes, but... I'd rather hang out with an engineer than someone sure. that's in medicine coming from okay. someone that did forensics. God, what else do you have to see? You don't have to see Black Panther, technically. Really? Like, there's not much you there's have to see. Not much. Because the important thing is Iron Man's arc. Yeah. You need to be able to get Iron Man's arc. Iron Man, Thor, and Cap's arcs are really the only ones you really need to follow. Yes. For Cap, you could... Yeah, you're going to want to make a right down here. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'd... Um, I think I it. Yeah, because it's straight. Oh, no, that was it. That's uh, it. Did you get out of here? Yeah. Uh, you could have also turned earlier. Let me turn on a uh, camera port. It was coming up. Well. Sure. I don't know. I never go that way. Uh, well, it's the, the one that's... Yeah, because the street's right next to it. I know. Yeah. But, I mean... Anyways. You know, you could either watch all of them, you could watch some of them, you can turn right yeah, here. Yeah, this is where I'm turning. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. Um, you, you can, can watch you all of them, you can watch... Some of them, honestly, the only ones you really need are like Iron Man 1 and 3. Uh, Cap 1 and 2. Cap 1 and 2. Maybe Civil War. If you're feeling Maybe up for it. Civil War. Because, I mean, it. Kitty. Uh, so that is a fox. Uh, that fox. is not a cat. Okay. Um, three. Um, well, yeah, three. Because the stuff with Bucky. So um, Civil War. 
Yeah, so all the okay. Cats movies. I mean, I haven't seen Civil War, and I didn't really miss anything. Personally. You didn't miss too much, but, you know, it, it introduces um, some connection to stuff, so. And... Thor... Guardians 1. Guardians 1. Just that you know who the fuck they are. Yeah. Um, skip Strange and Skip Black Panther, much as I love Black Panther. Yeah. Um, 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 and that's really good. That's, oh, and Infinity War, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, and Age of Ultron. Fuck. You don't need to watch Age of Ultron. You gotta watch the first Avengers. Age of Ultron no. only because it introduces Scarlet Witch. You don't... I, I did not miss anything. <laughs> I, you do have to see the first Avengers. You do need to see the first Avengers. Because there's like a whole chunk of scene that takes place in New York then. Yeah. Um, a whole, fuck. Do you need to see part. Doctor Strange? Because you no, didn't see it, but no, you, you still... Don't. But you still understood who the Ancient One was. She was his master. I mean, that was pretty obvious. Yeah, so you picked up on it. Because she had pretty obvious. She yeah. had his chain on. Yeah. I don't know. I think... Yeah, that's yeah. about Iron it. Iron Man 1 and 3. Cap, Avengers. Cap, Cap 1 and 2. Maybe 3. Maybe 3 if you're feeling up for it. If you really uh, are. Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok. And Infinity War. And Infinity War. Are like the main ones you need to see. Before you see it. Yeah. And really, if you want to watch the other ones, feel free. I didn't, and I don't feel like I missed out on anything. Yeah. So there you go. But, um, at the end of the day, it's I great. think you should see Endgame. You should work. Oh, drove right past it, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, you did. Um, yeah. You should see but it. Yeah, it's a great, it's a fucking great superhero movie. I want to buy this movie, so, honestly. I, I'll, I'll, you know, check it out. Yeah. Or don't. I don't give a shit. Yeah, but... I don't give a fuck what you do. See Shazam. See this. Uh, when Little comes out... Don't see get, it. Get drunk and get it on a red box. <laughs> or, or, or don't. Or don't. Or because watch... that's a movie that doesn't need to exist. Watch any other Regina Hall movie. I mean, it's a very basic-ass movie. Yeah, that's, basic -ass it, that's why it doesn't need to exist. I thought it was entertaining. I mean, I'm sure it's entertaining, but it doesn't need to exist. No, it doesn't. But, you know, I, that's I have to, like I have, I have support, problems. I have to support black cinema. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I just have problems with movies that have no reason for existing. Like, the, is that really a story that needed to be told, or were you, or were you just? Well, like, the weird thing is, the movie has we like money. The movie has plot issues of its own too. God. Like, they set up character arcs that don't go anywhere. Like, before you get out, <laughs> like a teacher's introduced as a potential love interest, and it goes nowhere. Child Protective Services literally comes in for a plot point and then goes nowhere. Like, they make up all these lies about who she is as a little girl, and that has no repercussions. So it all sets up with no payoff. <laughs> Which is honestly makes the Man, movie funnier. Man, you're really funnier. selling this movie to me. No, that's what makes it funnier. Because it's like, so what happened with that plot that point? Oh, nothing. That doesn't really sound funny to me. But yeah. Yeah, see Endgame. Endgame. Good movie. You don't I don't need, know why someone would watch this if they haven't seen it already. <laughs> That's a good point. Because it spoiled the whole movie. Well, if you haven't seen it already, I guess, uh, fuck you. <laughs> With love. Fuck you. And tenderness. Slowly. Get, get fucked. With consent. Get, get, get yourself some fuck. <laughs> Shoutouts to Carol Danvers, the most powerful lesbian in the whole universe. Yeah. And Shouts to all my boss boys. <laughs> shout, 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 shouts to all my boss bo Bang, bang. Put that in the montage. <laughs> Got Put some... that in my COD montage. No one's gonna watch. Got something for me, Peter Parker? This guy. Oh, yeah. This dick! The, the one thing I said, though, when they were in a... When they were in Avengers Tower back in 2012, and you didn't catch me when I said it, I forgot how fine Scarlett Johansson was. I'm like, God That's damn. Because I'm like, God damn, she's thick as shit. Yes. <laughs> like, under my breath. Yes. Didn't even know I said it. I was like, Yes. I'm like, God damn, she's thick. Yes. But not as thick as that chick I sent you the other day. That made me catch the whole thing. That, that, see, that's like. Shimon and I are shimon and all. This is. Ho, oh, oh. This, this is. This is why people watch Endgame reviews. For thick women? No, to hear people talk about thick women. I mean, that part too. <laughs> that part too, the sequel. Because <laughs> that part as a phrase wasn't That part that. too, Electric Boogaloo. That part. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. That was good. Yeah, you have a home to get to. That's true. Okay. See you, See you fuckers later. See you in the future. Or the past. No. Or the past. No. Because time travel no. happens. <laughs>